Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is the third lecture of this bit manipulation series. And in this lecture, we are going to see how we can count number of set bits in a given number. So the problem is you are given an integer n, and you have to find the number of set bits in the binary representation of this number. So for example, if n is 12, so the output would be 2 because in the binary representation of 12, there are two set bits. For 11, output should be 3 because in the binary representation of 11, there are three set bits. So uh, there are two approach uh, we will be uh, we will be discussing. The first one is this. We will we'll use right shift to count the total number of set bits. Suppose this was the number, then uh, how we are going to count the number of set bits is this. Each time we are going to uh, take n and perform and operation with it. If the resultant is non-zero, then we increment the count. Otherwise, we don't. So if you see, this is the bit pattern. And if you perform and operation with this, uh, since uh, we are performing and operation with one, so the result would be non-zero if and only if the first bit, sorry, the zeroth bit of the number is one. Otherwise, the result would be zero. So since the result is zero, we won't increment the count. Now after that, we would perform the right shift. If number is greater than zero, uh, that is if n contains at least one set bit. Even if there is a single set bit in the binary representation of n, then n would be greater than zero. So since n is greater than zero, we would uh, perform the right shift operation once. once. So I have explained what is left and the right shift operation in the previous lecture. If you have no idea, just go and watch out those lectures. So if you perform the right uh, right shift one time, the pattern would become 11100100 like this. The whole pattern shift towards the right. Now we would again perform the AND operation. And since this time the zeroth bit is set, hence the resultant would be non-zero. And if, if the result of n performed and operation with 1 is non-zero then we would increment the count so in this case the count would be incremented by 1 we would again perform the right shift operation and again perform and operation and since the resultant is still non-zero we would again increment the count and since n is non-zero we would again perform right shift operation and again check for it so the algorithm would look something like this so let's we have t test cases each time you take input n so what we are doing here is that count is 0 and while n is greater than 0 while n is greater than 0 means there is at least one set bit if that is the case then we would increment the count and sorry we would first check whether the i uh, whether n performed n operation is 1 is greater than 0 or non zero if this is greater than 0 that is the and operation after the and operation or basically the zeroth bit is set so the result would be non-zero. If the result is non-zero of this operation, then we would increment the count. And after each operation, we set n is equals to n left shifted once. So we are, sorry, right shift. So we are right shifting n. Finally, print, sorry, count. So let's test this. Since you are each time performing a uh, right shift operation on n or basically you are dividing n each time by 2 so n is going to be 0 uh, at some point or at uh, so if n becomes 0 the algorithm will stop so this algorithm actually stops and it runs at most log n time so suppose there are these many test cases first number is 5 so we know the binary representation of 5 is 101 and 101 contains two uh, contains two set bit that is why the result is 2 let's take an example of 10 
10 is 1 0 1 0 let's take 11 result is 3 because 11 uh, binary representation of 11 is 1 0 1 1 that is why we are having three set bits and you can check out for any number it works so the algorithm is very uh, very easy each time what we are going to do while n is greater than 0 if the 0th bit is set then we would increment the count and we would uh, right shift n one time and finally we would print the total number of set bits this was the first algorithm the algorithm runs uh, of in log n time because each time you are dividing n by 2 so at max you can divide a number up, up to log n times by 2 and uh, log is base 2 now the other approach is something like this this is a little bit faster not asymptotically uh, asymptotic notation uh, sorry complexity of this approach is also log n so the other observation other algorithm is based on a simple observation which is this if you take a number power of 2 and then subtract 1 from it the result is something like this a special number let me show you that this is uh, a power of 2 which is 8 and a power of 2 contains only one single set bit right so if you subtract one from it what happens is that this bit becomes zero and all the other bits starting from that bit which were zero initially uh, become one as seen here now if you take another example 16 which is again power of 2 and if you subtract one from it it becomes 15 and 16 binary representation is this if you subtract one from it what happens this bit becomes zero and all the bits starting from right position to that set bit all become one now what happens when we take a non uh, power of two number like 28 so a binary representation of 28 is one 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 double zero you subtract one from it the number becomes 27 which has this uh, binary representation so if you see what is happening here uh, to explain this you see the rightmost set bit is this right this one so what happens is they are just ignore the rest of the bits on the left of it and consider this only one zero zero since this is the rightmost bit uh, when you subtract any number from it this is the only bit which gets affected so what would happen this bit would become zero and all the other bits starting from that bit towards the right they become one the same thing which is happening here but uh, but here uh, what ha what was happening there there was only a single bit so starting from that uh, that would uh, that bit would turn zero and the rest bit would become one starting from that point towards the right and here what would happen you would find the uh, the first bit from the right would get affected and that bit would become zero and the rest of the number starting from that bit towards the right becomes one we are going to use this observation and apply it and make an algorithm using that so what we are doing here initializing the count to be zero while count is greater than zero what we are doing each time incrementing the count this time we are not checking whether the zeroth bit is set or not simply we are incrementing the count and assigning n to be n and with n minus one so let me show what is this suppose the number input number is this now what we are doing here while n is greater than zero which means n contains at least one set bit we are incrementing the count and assigning n or updating n to be n and with n minus one so this is n which is this number and this is n minus one n minus one would be uh, you have to find the rightmost set bit which is this n minus one in n minus one the rest bit would be same so this whole pattern is same starting from uh, this bit would convert it to zero and the rest starting from that bit towards the right since there are no bits so you don't have to worry about that so this bit would convert into zero so this is n minus one if you perform and operation of these two you would see uh, up to this point up to this point all the whole pattern is same as this as in the original number only the last uh, the rightmost set bit is removed or 
as converted into zero so we are now we have now successfully removed one set bit from n now n becomes this after the operation now since uh, now n is this so n is still greater than zero what we would do we would still increment the count and now we would again update n to be n and with n minus one so this is n n minus one would be this bit would become zero that is would become one so this whole thing after performing end operation would become zero the all the rest bit which are toward uh, towards the left would be would be the same as in the original number or basically we are again successfully removing the rightmost set bit now the number becomes this now again since n is greater than zero what we would do we would perform n and with n minus one and update the n so n is this n minus one would be this number this would be zero the rest would be one so when we perform and operation this whole pattern would become zero only this bit would remain there and finally since n was greater than zero you again increment the incremented the count again if you perform and operation we have seen that what would happen uh, n minus one is this would uh, this would be zero the rest would be one again performing after performing and operation the whole number would become zero and now since n is not greater than zero we, the algorithm stops and we would return count so the while loop now runs as many times as there are set bits because in each operation in each this operation we are removing the rightmost set bit and hence if there are only one set bit the while loop will run only one time while in the previous algorithm it would run it may run more number of times so let use the same algorithm so if n is greater than zero what we would do we would simply increment the count and update n to be n and with n minus one the rest is same come on yes now 10 is having two set bits 15 is a having four set bits because 16 is 2 raised to power uh, 4 minus 1 which is having four set bits now 16 is having only one set bit 1 is having one set bit 5 is having two set bits and so on so this is how we count number of set bits there are more ways but these were the two important ones i believed were important to teach you so i hope you have learned something from it and if you have any query or any suggestion just post it in the comments so thank you guys for watching and yep keep coding till the next video drops thank you